I'm Brad, and this is The Race Show. Hi, my name's Des, and welcome to The Race Show. Hey everyone, we're here at the shop today. Des and I are gonna get ready to run a car on the dyno. I'll let her tell you all about it. So this is a 1969 Camaro with a 548 cubic inch big block Chevy, which is running race gas, and it was engine dynoed at 900 crank. So engine dyno and roller dyno, which is what we have here at Post Town Street Cars, can give you very different numbers. Reason being, an engine dyno is a controlled atmosphere that the engine is bolted to the actual dyno itself and runs basically down a shaft to give it your engine output. This car making 900 at the crank is gonna vary when we're looking at the rear wheel horsepower. So with something like this, where it has a turbo 400 in it and is running uh, about a 410 rear in it, we're gonna see somewhere about a 20% loss in the rear, or between the rear and the transmission itself, which will give us a rear wheel horsepower of a guesstimate around 700 horsepower. So we're gonna run it on the dyno, show you guys some numbers and tell you what we did. First one on the dyno, our baseline numbers are 639 horsepower and 575 foot-pounds of torque. After a few adjustments and our final run on the dyno, we came up with 726 horsepower and 637 foot-pounds of torque. So we got everything wrapped up here with the Camaro. Uh, as Des said earlier, we made 726 rear wheel horsepower once we were all said and done. I'm gonna walk you through that process. First off, the customer originally contacted us because his big biggest concern was when this car was idling and you would drop it in the drive, it would stall. So what we worked on was I pulled the carburetor off. This car is running a Holley Dominator. Pulled the carburetor off, I went through it. There was a ton of adjustments that were just out of spec where they belonged and it just wasn't what it needed to be. Um, the other thing is this running an MSD electronic ignition on it. Uh, basically what I noticed was the timing was a little off and actually on our first set of runs it was extremely advanced. 
what we were seeing was at idle, the timing was 20 degrees, which is a little high, but not terrible. I'm, you know, we, we can lock out a distributor and have a car running at 34 degrees at idle. So it's not really a big deal. But what I was seeing was the mechanical advance in this distributor went from 20 degrees all the way up to 40 degrees of total timing. Total timing is what you're gonna be running under wide open throttle. So in you know, my experience, what I've seen is that's a little high, but every motor's a little bit different. And we knew this, this engine was on the engine dyno and it had made 900 horsepower before. Based on the charts that we had, we had seen that they were running around 40 degrees then. So what I wanted to do was go through, make some runs, and see what we ended up with. On our first run, it made the 630 horsepower or so that we were looking at. And that was on that, you know, 40 degrees of timing that we're talking about. Our air fuel was about 12.5 on race gas. I'm completely happy with where that's at. What I ended up doing, and you saw it in the video, is I went in, I made some timing adjustments and just kind of verified where things were at. So the total timing we ended up running was 35 degrees. At 35 degrees of timing, and our air fuel actually stayed at the same, that's when we made the 726 horsepower that we saw in the, in the second clip. The issue that we now come into is because of the total advance that we're seeing out of the distributor, we're very low on timing uh, at idle. So what I would like to actually see is have this car go to a different distributor setup or we can modify the weights so that it doesn't advance as much as it currently is. Uh, this is something where I'm gonna go over with the customer, also make some suggestions on what we can do with the carburetor to get a little bit more out of it as well. Um, he talked to us about doing a whole lot of other stuff for the 2020 season. So hopefully we'll have some more of this car on the show and um, you know I'll be able to tell you guys more about it in the future. Thanks for checking out the 69 Camaro on this episode of The Race Show. If you'd like to stay tuned for more content, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.